shine. The Kaaba so great and marvelous, lighting can pass it all over. The Kaaba so great and marvelous, lighting. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to another episode of Quest for Umrah. I welcome you here today for our new quest that is involving two teams from around the world. We have seen in this quest many teams come and some have left us. Unfortunately, we can only have one winner. And the lucky winner will be going to Umrah, to the blessed lands of Mecca and Medina. Today, we have with us Team World and we have Team Afghanistan. Both teams have been here before and they've battled it out. They have got this far, but only one can go through to the next round. Let's have a look at our teams to see how they're feeling today. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah, Team World. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullah. Okay, tell us a bit about yourself for the new viewers, where you're from and this Team World, what it comprises of. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. My name is Abdullah, 25 years old. Uh, I was born in France and I'm um, from uh, Guinea-Bissau, West Africa and uh, my team represents different uh, places of the world just like uh, the Muslims they've got different nationalities so I'm very proud to represent that team. Excellent. And uh, what would you like to do in the future? I'd like to go back to France to give that right to the people. Give that to the people, mm -hmm. alhamdulillah. Okay, next brother. What is your name? My name is Fatmi Strumi. And where are you from? I am from Albania, from ah. the city of Durs. Okay. What do you do at the moment? I study in the uh, faculty of Sharia in Azhar of in University. Azhar. And what would you like to do? I want to be a Da'i. You want to be Da'i. May Allah, Allah bless you. Alhamdulillah. And next yeah. brother, tell us about yourself. My name is Abdullah. I'm 21 years. I come from Germany and uh, I became to a Muslim two years ago. MashaAllah. Yeah. Okay. And what are you doing at the moment? At the moment, I study the Arabic language uh, on the International S uh, Student Friendship Society. Okay, alhamdulillah. Team World, you've been here before. Yeah. You've had some previous matches. Yeah. How did they go? How do you feel now? You've uh, got quite far in this quest. Yeah, alhamdulillah, we defeated Egypt in the first game. But uh, we uh, lost against uh, Bangladesh, which is a very good team. Okay. But inshallah, we try our best, inshallah. Okay. Well, we wish you all the best in this match. Shukran. You've got good opponents against your team of Afghanistan. Let's meet this team of Afghanistan. Assalamu alaikum, team of Afghanistan. How does it feel to be back? Nice. It's nice. Yes? Yeah. Okay. Let's have a small introduction again for our new viewers and new audience. I'm Abdul Wahid from northeast of Afghanistan, a province called Nuristan. I'm a student of uh, commerce. Mm. Last year, my major is economics and uh, I would like to go back to Afghanistan and work as a politician. Excellent. Next brother. Uh, I'm Aryan Muhammad Siddiq from yes. Afghanistan, yes. Uh, from east uh, south, a uh, province called Farah. And I'm a student of uh, commerce, fourth year, uh, major accounting. And inshallah, I want to uh, continue my studies as a, a PhD and master's, inshallah. And we had two matches previously, and we had a successful one and one unsuccessful one. And we okay. try our best, inshallah. So hopefully this will be a successful one for you. And lastly, my name is Muhammad Ashraf. Muhammad Ashraf. I'm from Afghanistan also. I'm graduated from Faculty of Commerce, major of uh, accounting. And uh, on last match we won. And now we are in increasing. We want to continue this one Until and qualify yeah. the semifinal. And today I will do my best and with my team, inshallah we will Excellent, so good. teamwork going on. Yeah. You've told us a bit about some clothes and some parts of Afghanistan. Can you tell us more about Afghanistan as a country? Yeah, Afghanistan is uh, located in the center of uh, Asia and it is called the uh, heart of the Asia. Okay. Because it has a very strategic uh, location in, Af in uh, Asia. Yes. Uh, on the north we have four ma main countries. Uh, we have Turkmenistan, we have Tajikistan, we have Uzbekistan. On the uh, east, we have China, borders with China. And we have uh, Pakistan. On the uh, west, we have Iran. Okay. So all uh, the very important uh, countries uh, from all the view, from all the aspects. And is it, and what kind of land is it? Is it mountainous? Is it desert land? It's mountainous. Uh, it's mountainous. Mostly. Okay. Yeah. 
And because of this strategic location, uh, it caused uh, a lot of uh, occupiers okay. to uh, desire to enter Afghanistan, but England and Russia, they failed to enter Afghanistan. Okay. And what's the language is the main language? We have uh, many languages. Uh, we have Pashto, we have Persian, we have Uzbeki, we have Nuristani. Okay. A lot of languages. Alhamdulillah. Okay, again, wish you all the best. Thank you. Let's start our section. Both teams, I hope you appreciate that we're quite far into our quest now. And you have to do your best. We can only allow one team to proceed. So which one will it be? I'll let you decide. Will it be you team front? No. Team Albania? Team Germany? Representing Team World? Or will it be you, Team Afghanistan? We will find out after the result. We will start now with our topics. There's four possible topics. History, Geography, Quran and Seerah. We will choose two topics firstly and you will have multiple choice questions. There can only be one right answer out of the four and the quicker you get the answer right, the more points you will achieve. So, Team World, which topic would you like to start from? Quran obviously. You would like to start from Quran. Beautiful topic. Let's see how you do. Can we have our first question? Quran. Your question will be, world, how many letters are in the Holy Quran? The first, number one, number two, number three, or number four? How many letters in the Holy Quran? Start the clock now, please. Think about the size of the Quran. Is it more than three? Is it less than five? Time is clicking. Time is clicking. Number one. You say number one. Is it number one? Let's check the answer, please. It is number one, mashallah. There is 323,671. 323,671 letters in the Quran. Very good. You're off to a great start. Keep up the start. Can you match that start? Your question in Afghanistan is How many words are in the Holy Quran? Is it number one? Is it number two? Is it number three? Or is it number four? Start the timer now, please. Number four. You say it's number four. 77,701. The right answer is number four, Allah Akbar. It's 77,701 words in the Holy Quran. So many words, each with its own benefits, sent down from our Lord to us. Okay, let's go to Team World. Your question will be, how many parts are there in the Holy Quran? 30, 60, 120, or 240? Start the timer now, please. It depends on what you mean by parts. How many Jews? Uh, 30. 30. Let's check the answer. It is 30. The Quran has been split into 30 parts known as Jews in Arabic. Well done. Excellent. Another three points. You're doing very well. World. 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 Okay. Afghanistan. They want their answers precise. They want to know they're doing it right. Let's see how you do. Your question, Afghanistan, on Quran is, what is the surah that is called Al-Fadiha? Is it Al-Kafirun? Al Ghashia, Al Nasr, or At Tawbah. Start the timer now, please. A number, surah that's called Al Fadiha. Number four, At Tawbah. You say number four, At Tawbah. What, do you know what Al Fadiha means? Fadiha, yes. What does it mean? Scandal. Huh? Scandal. 
scandal, yes. the surah of the scandal, about the scandal of the disbelievers upon the Muslims. Is it a tawbah? Let's check your answer. It is a tawbah. Well done. There's three points for you, mashallah. Very good. Okay. Let's have a question for our team world in Quran. Team world. How many times is Bismillah Rahman Rahim mentioned in the Holy Quran? Is it 113? 114? 140? Or 124? Start the timer now, please. Number two. You say it's number two? Yeah. The correct answer is number two. Allah Akbar. Well done, mashallah. Very well done. Allah Akbar. Okay. Last Quran question for Team Afghanistan. Your question is What are the two surahs that make mention of camels? Is it Surah Al An'am, Surah Ghashiyah, Surah Kaf, Surah Muhammad, Surah Al An'am and Surah Buruj, or Surah Ghashiyah and Surah Al Anfal? Start the timer now, please. So, mentioning camels in two surahs, they're known by a few names in Arabic. Number four. You say number four. Let's see if that is the right answer. What is the right answer? The right answer, unfortunately, is Al An'am and Ghashia. But no worries, Team Afghanistan. See you after the break. So stay tuned. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome back to the second part of Quest for Umrah. Let's now go to a new subject and we will choose the subject of history. Team World, let's have a first question for you in history. Johann Gutenberg was famous for inventing what? The telephone? The computer? The printing press or the television? Start the timer now, please. Number three, the printing press. You say the printing press. Something we very valuable to us now today with all the news that we have around the world. Is it the printing press? Was Johann Gutterberg? Let's check the answer, please. It is printing press. Well done. Three points for you again. <laughs> Team World Gym. Very good. Okay. Team Afghanistan. You're up against tough component set. Let's see how you do on your history. Your question is Charlemagne, Western and Central Europe in the years 30 BC to 20 AD, 800 to 814, 1050 to 170, or 1400 to 1410. What um, is time? Start the time, please. We choose number two, 800 to 814. Let's check the answer. Is that the correct answer? That is the correct answer, mashallah. Well done. Very good. Okay. Back to you, Team World. You're doing good. Let's check another question for history. Writing Mesopotamia was called what? Was it cuneiform, papyrology, hieroglyphics, or tonography? Very hard words. Let's start the clock now, please. I'm surprised I even did it. Number one. Number one, would you like to pronounce this for me? Cuneiform. Cuneiform, better than what I did. Okay, let's check. Is this the right answer? It is the right answer. Cuneiform, well done. That's the fault to me, I'm writing. Okay, again, Team World keeps coming back stronger and stronger. Oh, Afghanistan. Let's have some support from each other. Come on. Okay. Give me a ready. You're ready. ready. A better ready. Ready. Yeah. Ready. Okay. 
Let's have your question. Who created the Persian Empire of the 6th century BC? Was it Cyrus the Younger? Artaxius the Second? Cyrus the Great? Or Darius the First? Some Number very long three. names. Start the clock, please. Number three, Cyrus the Great. Cyrus the Great. But was he really great? Let's check. And is your answer great? Let's check now. It is the right answer. Cyrus the Great, who obviously is not as great as Allah, for Allah is the greatest, is right. Alhamdulillah. Well done, guys. Let's check the scores, please. Okay, scores now. Afghanistan, you're doing well at 12. But in the lead, we have a good score. It's Team World with 17. Well done, Team World. Bravo, Lake. Well done. Okay. Now, we will go into our next section of questioning on history. Question for you, Team World, on history. Who inhabited the Italian peninsula prior to the Romans? Was it the Eutraxians, the Franks, the Goths, or the Nubians? Start the clock, please. So, Italian peninsula, who number one. <coughs> inhabited it? You say number one? Yeah. You say the Eutratians? Yeah. Let's check your answer. It is Eutratians. Team World, you're doing exceptionally well. Well done. Let's go to Team Afghanistan. Team Afghanistan, we will have a question for you. Your last question on history. We need these points now, team. Work together. An eye for an eye has come to what code of law? I can see big smiles and nodding heads. Is it the Ten Commandments? Is it Draco's Law? Is it the Book of Punishments? Or is it Homarby's Code? Start the clock now, please. An eye for an eye. Number four, uh, Hammurabi's Code. Hammurabi's Code. Again, you said that better than me. All right. Is that the right answer? Can we check, please? It is the right answer. Well done. You're doing very good. Excellent. Excellent. Good stuff. All right. Can we have now our scores, please? At the end of that round, our scores are at 20 points for World and 15 points for Afghanistan. We will now go on to our next series, which is called Who is He? In this, Team Afghanistan. You may achieve five points, and you, Team World, may achieve five points. You need to listen to what I am going to say, and then you can tell me your answer. Let's have a look. Remember these points. He was born in 425 AH. He was one of the Seljuk Sultans. He was surnamed by the title, the Sultan of the World. He was just generous, compassionate towards his subjects. He was also benevolent towards the poor. The Battle of Manskirat took place between the Muslim army that led by the Sultan and the Romans led by the Romanists in 463 AH. I'll go over this a few more times, keep it in your mind. Born in 425 AH, he was one of the Seljuk Sultans. He was also good towards the poor. And the Battle of Manskirat took place between the Muslim army led by him and the Romans led by Romanus in 463 AD. Can we have your answer, please? Jazakallah khair. And Team Afghanistan, may we have your answer? Jazakallah khair. Okay, viewers, just to let you know, for you at home, if you know who it is, I will soon give the answer. Our two teams have given us who they believe this person is. We will see now. Team World, you say to me that this person is Al Arsilan. Team Afghanistan, you have written that this person is also Arab Arsilan. 
I would like to inform you that you are both correct. The person is Al Barcelona. Well done, both teams. Mashallah. That's five points each. Alhamdulillah. Any of you know anything more about this person? Tell us a bit about it, yeah. Brother Abdullah. Basically, I uh, read the book a few years ago about the Crusades in French. Yes. And uh, they were saying that he's the first person to have faced the Crusaders in what is actually Turkey now. And uh, he has been as well the first Muslim to have defeated them. But nevertheless, they went through Turkey and they went up to Jerusalem and we know the end of the story. Okay, so he was the first line of defense and the first one to stand. So much courage he had. Anyone else have any information about him? Okay, alhamdulillah. But we can see from this what a great Muslim he was stand up against the great armies that befall the Muslims at that time and stand up and defend this Ummah. May Allah be pleased with this person. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Alhamdulillah. I hope you got this right at home viewers as well. It was a very good answer. So far we'll review the scores now. World team, you are on 25. And Afghanistan, you are on 20. So both teams doing very well. Again, I'd like to put the pressure on both of you. Remember, this is a knockout game. Whoever loses will be out of the quest. So is that going to be you, Team World? <laughs> or is that going to be you? We will only find out at the end. Okay, we will now go to our next section. We will let Afghanistan choose. Which section would you like? Sira or geography, whatever. Which one would you like to choose that from? Sira. 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 We, can we have Sira, please? Okay. First question, Sira is going to go to world. Your question is, Zainab, the Prophet ﷺ's daughter, immigrated to Medina in what year? Was it the first year of Hijri, the second year of Hijri, the third year of Hijri, or the eighth of Hijri? Let's start the timer now, please. Number two. You say number two, the second year of Hijri, the Prophet Sallallahu daughter. Was it the second year? Let's check the answer, please. It is the second year. Well done, mashallah. Zainab, the Prophet Sallallahu daughter, migrated in the second year. Okay. Another great three points, adding to your score of the lead. When we come to our next round, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Salams to the sacred house. Pray for me.